Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jamisha and today I actually have a hair review for you guys. And it's on this hair right here. So I got this hair from my um, local beauty supply store. And it's called Beauty and Beyond. I don't know, if you're from the Montgomery area, yeah. It's the one, I got it from the one on Atlanta Highway. So this hair was like $22, I believe. And it's supposed to be like a virgin dupe. So I got the length. 14, 16, 18, um, and yeah, so I curled this hair, I've had this hair curled for like two or three days, I just, I, I pin curled it, so it's been sitting on my wig head, just waiting for me to put it on, and y'all, this is what it looks like, this is what it looks like, I don't know what the bag looks like though, like, but on me, I'm only 5'3", so, uh, yeah, curled, it's like, stops here like on top of my boobies so yeah but I'm actually gonna be showing you guys how I constructed this wig I actually did a quick weave sort of wig like I, I didn't actually put a cap on my actual head I put I did it on my um mannequin head for some reason I don't like the thought of me actually doing quick weaves on my own head maybe because I just feel a little uncomfortable and I don't like the glue actually on my own head so um, in the video, you're going to see that I had thread and needle, but I didn't use the thread <laughs> or the needle. I actually went for my glue. And so, um, for the most part, I can say for this hair, this is, um, Gardenia by Model Model. And I'll actually be showing you guys the hair, um, the packaging that the hair came in. Um, this hair is actually soft and it curls, but the only thing about when you curl it, make sure you hold it. And I had my flat iron set on 360, so just make sure you hold the curl just a little bit, maybe like 10 seconds or so, and you can just curl it. Like, I actually want to see what this hair looks like wand curled, but I don't have a wand curler. So I might actually have to do like a hack or a dial or something and see what this hair looks like curly. Like, y'all, I just, I, I freaking love this. And I did the um, Ivy Powell flip over method. So this is this is why my part is like this. Um, I actually haven't left a lot of my hair. I've just left the edges out. <laughs> and my hair is just in two braids underneath here. So... I shampooed and stuff. I shampooed my hair the other day, so my hair is just in two braids. And I just left out like a good little bit of my edges to cover it up. And you'll see in the video how I closed off um, the side. Like I stacked the tracks close to each other, but I actually went back in and covered the tracks up. So I actually have like a little track on this side that's like at the front. But you can't, you can't see it. Like you guys, I actually love this method. <laughs> I love this, and this hair looks like freaking virgin hair. It's supposed to be body wave, so um, I, I can actually insert pictures of when I took when the hair was like in its natural natural state before I actually curled it. Um, I actually have curled this hair before, so yeah, the curls weren't as prominent as how they are now. So, but I can insert all those pictures that I've taken. So, I'm just going to insert those pictures, and then you guys are going to see me make this wig, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Here I am showing you guys the packaging, how the hair comes, um, and again, the brand is Gardenia by Model Model. And this is basically the texture of the hair. It came in the texture of Body Wave. It's pretty bouncy. And the wefts were pretty decent for the most part. Um, they did look a little doubled. And they were a little thick. So, yeah. Overall, the quality was good for the price that I paid for. This luxurious feeling um, synthetic hair. And so here's some things you're going to need. You're going to need a wig cap. Like I said, thread and needle, but you're not going to use that. And those are the curved needles. Um, you're going to need some scissors for sure to cut your tracks. And you're also going to need a wig block or canvas block or styrofoam head. 
Now, here I am showing you guys that this came in the length 14, 16, and 18, and I got in the color OT27, and it did say it was curling iron safe. And so, yeah, let's get to making this wig. Um, I actually protected my wig head with a bag, and I put my wig cap on top of my mannequin head just for a little added protection. And I'm going in with the Salon Pro 30 Second Glue. So what you're seeing me do here is just adjust my wig head to my height because I'm kind of like using my sewing desk. And so I'm measuring the tracks as I go. I started at the nape. I'm measuring and going up and my glue is giving me problems here. So now I can start gluing. And so I'm just basically laying that glue on the wig cap and cutting my tracks like I measured out that nape um, and you're going to just keep measuring up until you get up into the crown of the head. And also with track placement, um, since the overall finished look, the tracks, the hair is kind of fuller. Um, you can kind of place those back tracks a little more spaced out. I would say maybe a half an inch apart. I was going in, it looks like a fourth of an inch, um, placing them pretty stacked close. But you don't have to place them that close in the back. So again, I'm just measuring and laying my tracks out. And I'm just going in with the glue. And so I'm just kind of speeding up that process with my blow dryer. And it kind of helped um, dry that glue a little faster. If you don't like messy, which is the glue, is actually pretty doggone messy. Um, go in with your blow dryer and it'll kind of speed up the process of that glue getting more tacky. And um, you can go quickly work and move on onto your next section. Now here my glue kind of got like clumped. I haven't used this glue in God knows how long. So it's just basically been spent in my hair drawer. So um, yeah, it was getting kind of clumpy on me and it was giving me problems. But I just pushed through it. I eventually ended up taking off the top and just using the um, smaller part of the glue to make the glue come out. But that was a lot of mess. You guys, vinyl glue is a messy process. And so I'm still continuing on. Like I said, if you're going to glue this, I would suggest you glue this because the tracks are kind of thin. Um, if you do want to do a sew-in, that's up to you. But being that the tracks are a little on the thinner side, I would go for the glue. It's a quicker option. Um, and yeah. Now I've gotten to the crown of the head. What I'm doing here is once you get a nice like U shape, almost square like shape um, of the hair, you want to start going straight across with the hair here so you can end up, end up making a rectangle to do the flip over method. And I will link um, Ivy Powell's videos down below you can see how she's doing it but i'm just going across the top when i reach the top of that crown i'm going straight across with those tracks i'm not going i'm not conforming to the head anymore i'm just going laying those tracks stacked on top going straight across to the front of the head Now 
once you reach the top, I left probably like an inch and a half of space going across. Now, what I found is that um, you actually want to go in the opposite direction of where you want your hair to flip. So, I'm stacking those straps going to the right, I believe. And I flipped the part going to the left. So, yeah, it'll give you a lot of volume. And what you want to do, you want to lay the tracks that you're laying um, vertically. You want to lay them over those tracks that you went in horizontal coming from the crown. And you want to lay them pretty close and, like, almost on top of each other, like they can't breathe. So, that'll give you the illusion that you don't have those uh, webs showing and it'll make it for a nice seamless finish and you won't see those back tracks either. So like I said, I had ended up taking off the cap of my glue. So I figured to make this process a little quicker, I could just glue a huge section and just work kind of um, quicker. And what I could have done was measure it out and just have all my tracks pre-cut. But as you can see, I'm going in and laying those tracks, um, cutting them piece by piece, and you want to lay them close together. And so what I barely did was lay and cover those back tracks, that back um, horizontal track, but you want to go in and do that. And any glue that you have that's kind of peeking through, you can go back in and pick that out as well. getting close to finishing off my wig what I did was um, I got those tracks pretty close to each other um, so they was like they were almost kissing each other but what I didn't show in this video is that even though I laid those tracks pretty close I went back in and stacked my tracks on top of each other just as you came horizontally from the crown I stacked my tracks um, and so it was a little weft. Here I am just basically just checking out the wig on myself. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much feeling it. And so this was the wig in its natural state, unstyled or anything. So that's pretty much how it is. And I really love it, you guys. It's full and it's bouncy. And those curl <laughs> okay guys so i'm back i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and just let me know have you bought this hair if you've um seen this hair in the beauty supply or wherever i think they have it on the model model website if i'm not mistaken yeah but it's bundle it's bundle hair so it's not like I guess loose hair. I don't I don't know. But it's bundles of hair. So yeah. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.